Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about uh, Malgamut and Kalaya versus Alexander Rakic. Malgamut and Kalaya, 19 wins, 1 loss, 1 draw. He's 3-0-1-1 oh, in his last 5 fights. Minus 1... <sighs> minus 4-10 favorite, 32 years old. 6-3 with a 75 inch reach. Fighting Rakic, who's 14-4, 3-2 in his last 5 fights. Sorry. 2-3 in his last 5 fights. 2-2 two and two in his last four. Lost his last one against uh, Jan. Leg injury. Jan got a title shot after that. Bullshit. And then beat, uh, you know, just got beat up after he looked decent early on against Yuri uh, Prohaska. Plus three, uh, 20 underdog, 32 years old as well. 6-4 with a 78-inch reach, 1-inch in height, and a 3-inch reach for Rackage. Again, I think Inkalaev is a decent striker. I don't think he's anything... Great, just because you knock out Kuta Labe, just because you knock out Johnny Walker, doesn't make you a great striker. Or um, uh, Ulam 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 Bungola, I don't know his name. That guy, he knocked him out as well. Again, I think Rakic output wise is okay. I think he he moves good early. I just think he's gonna be controlled a little bit too much by Ankalaev. Now, if you look at it for sure, Ankalaev on paper probably should be fighting for a title soon, but. He's boring. 11 wins, 11 finishes is what I meant. 19 wins, 11 finishes. He has six first round or seven first round finishes, 10 TKO or KOs. He's 10, 1, 1, and 1 <coughs> in the UFC. Wild. But Alexander Rakic, again, he, he has a very hard time dealing with pressure. And I think Inclive has enough power in his hands that he can make Rakic pay for his mistakes. Because as this fight goes on, Rakic will make mistakes. I like Ankalaev, and he probably forces the hand. He probably fights for a title next. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment, and let me know who you're picking. Peace.